Hello from the rainy Bavarian forest. What am I doing here today on such a rainy gray day? Well, some of you might have seen a video I recorded a few weeks ago where I was talking about how to take good photos under flat gray skies, which is basically what we have today. But we also have rain. And in this video, I was giving advice on, for example, heading to a forest or shooting some waterfalls when it's raining. And this is what I'm doing today. I'm here at the Riesloch waterfall near Boden Mais. And I'm going to explore this area and see if I find some shots. And the rain is actually making this a very good opportunity to get some moody photos. And I bring you today and show you a bit how my workflow is in the rain, how I try to get into the water to get the shots. And hopefully I come away with some photos which I can show you afterwards. So let's not waste much more time and head out into the rain. So the first waterfall is already here. It's a little one, I know, but it's good to get started. And maybe you might be wondering what ridiculously looking trousers I'm wearing. So let's see those. Those are actually called waders. And they'll allow me to get right into the water without getting wet. I can go knee deep or even hip deep into the water and don't worry about getting wet and this is actually very important when shooting waterfalls because the best photos you have when you're right in the water. You can take nice photos from the edge but it's really good if you don't have to worry about getting wet and can get right into the water. And also it makes exploring much easier so I can just wade through this river here and go explore. I still have to be very, a bit careful because those rocks might be slippery but the waders make it easy for me to just stand into the stand in the water here so i have just scouted a nice composition there and before I take the camera into the water, I want to quickly talk about my setup. So I have a screw-on polarizer this time. I'm not using the large leaf filter because this little screw-on is to completely sufficient today. I will not use, uh, use ND filters so I can use it. And this gives, gives me a better weather sealing. Also, I have the cable release and I have some protection against the rain because I think it's picking up again. And yeah, now I'm gonna head out into the water and try to shoot the photo which I just scouted. And let's see if it works out. So let's quickly talk about the settings I'm using to photograph this scene. Let's go down into the water, a little closer to the camera. So. As I said, I'm using a polarizer to reduce the glare here. And then I'm at F11, which gives me 0.7 seconds of exposure, which is quite nice to smooth out the water a bit without introducing too much smoothness. But I still have a little bit of detail. I'm also shooting bracketed exposures, which if I press down the shutter half, you can see, gives me a darker exposure to make sure that I get all the detail in the water and then also a brighter exposure for the dark parts in the rocks here. So bracketing, F11, middle exposure 0.7 and I'm using the cable release and have the two second timer. So when I press now, camera takes three shots. And I'm also shooting focus stacking here. So getting enough shots to get this scene sharp from near foreground to the background.
So, you see behind me is the main waterfall, the main Riesloch waterfall. And I have to admit I'm quite sweaty now because of walking around those waders is not ideal. So maybe I should have taken normal boots and just put those waders on for the water. But it is as it is and I think I'm gonna need those. But uh, this waterfall, I will not shoot it. I think this main tier here, it's not so photogenic and also there's been many photos of it already. I will rather explore further upstream where I suspect some more currents, some more little waterfalls and those actually, they are mostly the better subject to shoot and make for more interesting foregrounds also. So let's get on with it and see what we find. So on the way up here, I've walked past some larger waterfalls and they looked nice, but there wasn't the composition to be had for me. So what was missing essentially was foreground interest. And yeah, well, this is actually an important lesson to learn. When you're shooting rivers and waterfalls, it's not always the big waterfalls which make the good photos. It's important to look for smaller details, for little currents, for snaking rivers, and this is what I've been doing and I found this scene here which looks quite ordinary from afar but I think there's a photo to be had if I get in with a wide angle lens. I have lots of currents, some nice rocks and the polarizer should bring out the colors quite nicely and I'll now try to get a good photo from this little current here which it doesn't look very spectacular, but I'm sure I can get something out of it. So I've now taken my photos. But before I move on to another location, I want to show you a technique which I use very often. Let's record this. With that, such scenes, sometimes it's a good idea to experiment. And what I do, I'm breathing onto the lens. And this creates some kind of fog in the scene. Let's do this again. And while this fog slowly um, yeah, is removed, it's automatically, the condensation just goes away with time. I take several photos and I can later combine those with the normal photos and this can make for a very moody scene. So always important, experiment, not only compositionally, not only with the camera settings, but also with um, other techniques. So I'm back now at the first waterfall of the day and I now call it a day here. I've been out like four hours scouting, exploring and taking a few photos which I already showed you I think in the video. So it was a good decision to head out today and this is something I want to encourage you to. So if there's a grey sky, if it's raining like it is now, just see if you can find some waterfall, some river, some forest and head out there, try to find some compositions in the rain, use a polarizer to bring up the detail and yeah, try to capture the atmosphere, which is what I tried today. So till next time, see you.